Morning boys and girls, welcome back to the Yellow Bus Guy Garage. Uh, we got a little bit of a look at the cockpit of the 2003 Freightliner. And uh, there's an instrument panel which is considerably different than uh, international. You have a trans cooler gauge, water temp and oil pressure on the left, fuel and both air pressure gauges, tack and speedometer. And the little LCD screen tells you it has your voltage and your mileages. And we have our fast idle controls here. Instrument panel brightness, headlights. Over here we have a stop arm cancel or the crossing gate cancel. Activate the yellows here and there's your indicators for yellows and big reds. Defroster fan, temp knob that doesn't work and a uh, driver's heat and the wiper system is kind of unique you have this knob here which is the delay you get one click and that activates the uh, intermittent or delay wipers faster slower and then wipers on wipers fast and then your windshield washer and over here you have mirror heat uh, overhead fan this thing which all it does is make noise uh, passenger heat, rear, passenger heat, midship. Uh, this activates the uh, noise noise kill. Door switch, interior lights, dome or uh, strobe. And way back here are the mirror controls. And then this contraption is the seat belt web. It's the most convoluted, I don't know, it's it's goofy it really is and you have to be real careful not to tangle it up when you put it on and it snags down here under the seat sometimes and all of a sudden your belt's loose when you thought it was tight it's terrible and then you have this god-awful seat which won't recline any farther than it does it has air adjustments for height and lumbar and that's it and it's just it's uncomfortable it's, this bus kills me I'm in pain at the end of the day every day my shoulder kills me my back hurts and uh, yeah it's awesome uh, the pedals are not adjustable the steering wheel on the other hand is telescoping and tilt which is awesome that was a that was really helpful it took me a few days to discover that it actually telescoped and you got a glove compartment that you can keep some minor things in this useless cubby that holds a water bottle first aid kits down there ah you have this little vent here that blows on the door it would be interesting to see if that does anything for clearing the glass this winter have your door on off emergency and this one's mechanical it works on the air instead of electric in this compartment here you have uh, spill control kit belt cutter uh, you can keep cleaning supplies and things like that in there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's my office during the day. And I can't wait for it to go back to the shop so I can drive something different. I hate this bus. I really do. It is so slow. It's uncomfortable to drive. Let me see. Let me find something I do like. I do like this little pocket down here. Where I keep my paperwork, it's easy to get to. That's good. Uh, oh, this is interesting. The uh, four-way hazard. You pull that out, and that gets them blinking, right? Okay. If we want to cancel them, anytime you use the turn signal, it cancels them, which is really cool. So that way you're not going to wind up riding around with your four ways on, which happens a lot. You know, when people back up, you know, they activate their four ways and then they take off and they forget to turn them off. But yeah, that's. That's my favorite feature on the whole bus. Other than that, it's awful. Alright, thanks for coming around. Uh, like, subscribe, ask some questions, and I'll talk to you guys later. And happy Friday. Be safe.